Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have Armenian Stalinkas, Kirov extractors, and more power plants. Right, as always, disclaimer, this is something that just caught my eye, this is not a promotion or anything, this is just a news in the last seven days, what mods we have and what which ones I consider to be interesting for me. So, no promotion here whatsoever. Guys, uh, let's get cracking. Karantuki Small Secret Police, Small Secret Police Station, 20 high educated workers, 6 cars. Right, this is a beautiful model, classic Karantuki, he's common on this channel, uh, he made a lot of mods, or... Karantuki made a lot of mods, sorry if I'm misgendering here, but uh, really, really beautiful model. Okay, more important stuff, how does it compare to vanilla building? Right, price-wise, we're gonna compare it. We have Secret Police uh, 51,000. If we go to our mod section, we will go all the way... We're gonna go show all, we're gonna go all the way in the back, and we're gonna have secret, Small Secret Police 31,000, which is around 60% of the price of the big one of course this is this building should be a little bit on the smaller side yes it is so technically I think this is quite realistic in size so there's no cheating here it's not free to make and it's definitely sizable compared to vanilla one so thumbs up in my book Abelian Hike 852 Armenian Stalinka. Stalinka based on a real building here of an Armenia accommodates 122 workers and provides 93% quality. Right, so this is a building. Uh, I will say straight away that it has a little bit big capacity. I have to say that because I might be misunderstanding this, but Stalinkas were luxurious buildings, a little bit bigger than, I mean, Khrushchevkas, and you had uh, Komunalkas before Stalinkas. Uh, Khrushchevkas are small as well. I think even Brezhnevkas apartments are smaller than Stalinka ones. I am really not sure. I might be wrong here, but let's say that each one of these balconies is uh, one of their own, one uh, apartment. I'm not sure if we should consider them on this side as well. I don't know how big they are. So we have... Uh, so we have 3 here, we have times 4, that will be 12, times 2, that will be 24 people, or 24 apartments. It looks like it's a little bit, it looks like it's on a little bit big side, it looks that it has a lot of uh, capacity, 122 people. I'm not sure if I would be able to squeeze in 122, but also it could be that uh, my understanding of Stalinkas is bad, so I'm gonna leave this for the... Uh, author to to uh, see what is this realistic uh, population wise 122 but it's a beautiful beautiful building and uh, can we even compare it to something in vanilla if we go to this mod let's see what the price of this building would be usually Here we go, Armenian Stalinkas, 20, 28,700. I can straight away say that it is, oh, I think, uh, quite more expensive than than any buildings in that price range. 122 uh, in that capacity. Uh, residential buildings, we can go and check out uh, some of them with 122, none of them here. We're gonna go medium size uh, and of course large ones. Okay, here we go, 14,000, 12,000, 28,000, these would be the bigger ones in the range, um, and we have 12,000 here, so this building is definitely, definitely pricey. I am really not sure if I'm making a mistake here with Stalinkas, if this can fit 122 people to live in there, perfect. Uh, I will ask around. Anyway, uh, link in the description of the video. All fueled steel plant by Mr. Wizard, Mr. Novu. A uh, medium-sized steel plant for manufacturing uh, bussamer steel by burning oil instead of coal employs 80, up to 80 workers, added coal burning variants. So these are steel mills, they have 15 times less, more or less, 15 times less productivity than vanilla one, but they use different materials. For example, this one on the left is more expensive and it, co and it uses oil. To pro and, and iron plus electricity in order to produce steel. I am not expert in steel production. I still need think. I still I think that steel requires um, carbon source. Usually coal is used to mix with iron in order to get the fragility of steel. The sweet spot. I think it's between 0 0.10 and 2 percent of steel has to be carbonate or coal in this case in 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 this game. And the vanilla one requires. 
a little bit more coal and here in uh, Mr. Novo's mods we have 16 and 16 tons of iron. This could be just a minuscule amount. I'm just gonna compare how much iron uh, do we need to create how much uh, steel. So we have 16 and 3.2 tons if we go to vanilla one. Vanilla is 43 tons that would be 15 around 15 times more 14 times 13 times more and then we have more or less the same odds with the iron so iron amounts are more or less the same coal is a little bit less because they require the same amount of coal so it is a little bit more productive but it costs more money and requires more people in order to create these quantities because uh, the steel mill here requires six times more people but um, produces 15 times more steel so it has its downsides it has a lot of downsides that you have to be taking calculation and also one of the downsides is that they're expensive they're 100,000 or 96,000 in this case uh, and 88 while this steel mill is three times more expensive uh, two and a half to three and a half times more expensive depending which one you're comparing it to um, and it does create 15 times more steel so it's gonna be quite exp expensive investment in the beginning just a heads up on that but then and also by the way they have beautiful comparison you, you the one with the oil has a big tank there and the one with coal has a rail uh, going into it it's really really beautiful buildings of course it's classic novo right let's move on you have a link to this mod in the description of the video k700 series by sulfart Kirovets 700 series, you have the link there to what Kirovets actually is. Two dumper versions, 6x6 dumper, 20 ton capacity, loader 10 ton capacity, 6x6 six times, six times six. cargo 22 tons, open hull 22 times, tractor, wood logger, snow plow base version as a personal car for production and export, custom sounds, available 1962 to 2002, update added bulldozer version, uh, adjust work still for tractor, snow plow and logger for the game balance. I set speed of 40 kilometers per hour for 6x6 version, 35 for others. 3D models, yada yada, I have all the all the details there. Now color scheme there is absolutely perfect, I love the color. It's a little bit dark yellow, uh, I used to not in real life, in other games used to drive Kirovets and I absolutely adored this tractor. Uh, I didn't even know that there's uh, other versions versions for logging and for materials and this kind of stuff absolutely perfect i love it problem i think the capacities for this game could be a little bit on the pricey side on one hand but the speeds of the vehicles are quite reduced so maybe it would be good as an industrial vehicle within industrial area to transport from our one area to the other and i think they are absolutely beautiful this is definitely my favorite mod the capacities is something that we should consider they are quite high you can see crops here 17 tons for example, here we have 22 tons of gravel, which I'm not sure, is it even comparable? Now I have logger one, it, it actually attaches the logs there. If we remove one of these bad boys, let's go with uh, plow over here. I just wanted to compare the size of storage um, visually to some other dumper trucks. So let's go for big ones with uh, big capacities, vanilla. So this would be, um, this one has 16 ton capacity visually, while this one next to it, it has, let's go with this one over here, 22 tons. I don't think they should have this much capacity. I love them anyway, and I probably will use them. We'll see if we can lower the capacities as well, but they're absolutely beautiful. And this snow plow here as well. And then we have a bull. Absolutely perfect. I love it. I love this mod. This is definitely my favorite mod. Like I said, the only thing is, for example, this one has 10 ton capacity and it only has a front shovel. Um, questionable, questionable. We'll see, but I love this. This is my favorite mod, this mod Monday. Comrade Joe, 1980s Moscow warehouse, multi-purpose warehouse in late Soviet modernist style, copied after an existing building in North Moscow. Those constructions stopped with the destruction of the USSR disillusion. I think it would be not destruction, dissolution. <laughs> it can store both covered hull goods, open hull goods, and meet all indoors and proportion of uh, 10 for one respectively for that capacity around 1500 tons this way it can be used both for goods distribution hub for cities and the storage space in industrial zones 
construction, somewhat expensive, and as it requires mechanical components, has one road access, three parking slots, and seven factory connections. Yes, um, this is something really, really interesting. I'm gonna, th I need to think more about it uh, regarding the capacity of the storage and how does this work. Of course, uh, mechanical components are quite realistic because I bet they have a lot of cargo elevators around here to store everything in a different uh, levels. Uh, the building looks absolutely perfect. I love it. And uh, I really, really... I think I'm going to be using something like this. It looks like a storage. It doesn't look like a factory. It doesn't look like an office. It does have office space, as you can see here with these windows. I'm pretty sure that's office space. It has internal garage for where the cars are going to be loaded and unloaded if you decide to go here. But these industrial connections, I suggest you use the cargo station to connect it to these industries so it's going to be a little bit faster loading and unloading so definitely something that is on my list that i'm going to be using on my let's place now storage capacity is 800 tons of um, of crops if you scroll down you have some capacities if you limit them it's going to be quite limited it's not going to be it's not enormous capacity so heads up on that 50 tons of meat this is a beautiful beautiful thing to have i love this part and um, but definitely i'm going to be using this myself i mean you can put several of these different buildings around uh, one cargo station or even multiple cargo stations and then use them as a, for a different purpose. They are perfectly, beautifully urban. Uh, they're going to fit in any city or you know, outskirts of any city. So definitely something I'm going to be using in my let's plays and you can check more details in the description, description of this video. Small Orphanage by Rob074. Small Orphanage based on a real building in Lublin, Poland, employs 22 workers, houses 66 children. Yeah, we're continuing with the new setup that we have, new buildings uh, in uh, in workers and resources. And of course, classic Robs, you have plentiful, plenty, plenty of skill skins and uh, capacities. And usually I don't even have to check this. I'm pretty sure that the price is um, a little bit on a pricier side, which is more definitely worth it. This is just to calm the souls that uh, uh, don't want us to use cheaty mods that are too expensive. And I agree with this. I, I'm one of those souls um can we uh, compare it to i can still go and compare it with the vanilla ones but anyway this is the orphanage here and let's see if we can compare it to vanilla one right thirty-six thousand rubles we have here for orphanage and then we have the second one if we go to mods this is rob's one orphanage here twenty-two thousand. so comparable price comparable price price yeah, in my book it is because capacity of these is 160 children and you can see here the size is definitely twice the twice the size of this building. Any, anyway, this is something you're going to see in my Let's Plays. Rob 074 student residence halls, student residence halls based on a real building in Lublin, Poland, houses between 90 and 120 students. Yes, these are two different buildings. They are ever so diminishing they have ever so diminishing importance in this game because of the um, now ability of us to transport people all over the country without using the dorms. Usually there was a thing, a tactic that you can use dorms, but uh, nevertheless something that we should use more and more in this game and I will be using more and more nevertheless. Right, so capacity 120 classic robs, we have skins all the different skins so you can choose whatever you want to build how much do they cost if you go to mod section you have the more expensive one 31 and 24 31 32 32 and 24 if we go for our student residence and we can check here it's 22 and 24 these guys and they're 85 uh, workers each so definitely more expensive than vanilla one classic classic and the map, Big River Infrastructure. This is a map called Big River. There's another one as well. Uh, you go and check all of uh, both of them and decide which one you want. This is something that I chose to uh, present here just because I like when people put infrastructure or cities in their maps to see how a map maker thinks and would like us to play this game and then build up on that. So I chose this one with infrastructure, even though I have criticism on infrastructure is too extensive. It's like everywhere it looks like a manhattan <laughs> manhattan and without buildings it, it has a lot of a lot of roads and they're really beautiful placed in amazing places uh, you have electricity infrastructure you have road infrastructure so if you want to start playing here in building cities you won't m have any issues connecting to the border crossings you have um, tunnels you have 
look at these tunnels that are connected back to back over here. You have railroads, you have highways, you have electrical infrastructure, you have everything that you need on this map. No population though, the only population you can see here is because of the rest of the buildings we constructed here, but infrastructure is in place. Now, there's a lot of straight lines, which I'm not a big fan of. But unfortunately, what the hell are you supposed to do when you have open spaces? Usually you would bend your railroads and roads when you have need for that. So whenever you have canyons or anything like that or rivers, the roads are bent appropriately. And then we have a beautiful, beautiful river, which is navigable. It's a big one. So I'm pretty sure if you're going to play this map, you're going you're gonna to use the, all the benefits of this. Of course, rail, railroad bridges here are state of the art. No electricity infrastructure, no electricity hoses for the railroads, but you have everything else. So there's at least something that you can upgrade. Rest of the country, like I said, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Uh, several bridges uh, crossing your big river, canyons, mountains. And what's the most important part? How are we doing with the resources? Now, this is a positive thing, I have to say. If we go and check out the resources, there's not a lot of it. So it is somewhat of a challenge. Even though you have extensive road network here and you can play the map without road infrastructure, feel free to do so. Uh, but this one with the road infrastructure does have... Um, both of them have the same resources as far as I understand. But it's not plentiful. It's decent. It's decent. It's sparse. It's every all, all, all around. So you're going to have to go and transport a lot of resources. Rarely you're going to find both iron and coal in the same place. So maybe here on the bottom of the map, you might be able to uh, scrape up enough to have a steel mill. But anyway, oil, of course, on the river sides mostly. And you can you have some somewhat here in the north, some little amounts. But next to the river, of course, the river is going to be the main artery of this country. Uh, or region and then we have uranium more three different sources in three different places on the map but they are <laughs> i don't think they're 100 percent and then we have bauxite bauxite in the center of the map so i think it's decently um, populated with uh, resources of course you have this uh, big ridge line here, big, big mountain. I'm not sure how you're gonna pass through that one. That's up to you guys. But other than that, this is a really, really beautiful map. Uh, definitely my favorite this mod Monday. There are, I'm gonna finish off here. Go and check out the links for all of those mods. Uh, and go and pick your own the best we have amazing community there's a lot of amazing mods maps as well there's at least six mob maps in the last seven days this is just one of them that i picked there are beautiful beautiful maps there so go and check all of them but there's no buts that's it i'm gonna end it here i'm gonna say guys i hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring at comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Happy Monday, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.